Oh, let's go. Make the play. Make the play. Showtime. <laughs> Alright, he's in there like swimwear. Yup, yup, yup. He is in there like swimwear. I don't think anybody's in sight. And they actually castled themselves off. So you need to tell Ace to plant this diffuser. Okay, so you... Okay, listen. I'm just going to tell you what an R6 champion just heard. Somebody is currently on the castle, behind the castle, waiting, sitting, waiting, ready to just rip down that barricade. And then you have another enemy combatant who goes by the name of Mozzie in the other objective. So what I would do is I would take the one with Mozzie, then quickly divert my attention to the door. Let's see what you do. Precisely that. Now divert your attention to the castle. Why would you see like, how did you not hear him? literally strazoking his Johnson on the castle. Mag. You thought it was the other one, G? My G, you thought it was that castle? No, 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 this is Platt. Yep, made up my mind. This is Platt. This is Platinum. This is Platinum. This is Platinum. Ace, I'm gonna need you to plant that diffuser. Ace, I'm gonna need you to plant that diffuser Jinsky, in my- Jinsky, watch mine. Nah, I'm kidding. But Ace, I need you to plant- I'm gonna need you to plant the diffuser. Online. You saw a shadow. Why pre-fire? Now you just gave away your position. So pre-firing is actually the most overdone act in Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. People are going to be like, I did it! I did it! Like, shh, shh, shh. Listen. <laughs> I'm better than you. Okay, listen. Pre-firing is the most overdone activity in Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. What is the most important thing in Rainbow Six Siege? Positioning. This guy on the door has no idea exactly where you are. He might have a general idea of the general vicinity that you're in, but he has no idea exactly where you are. But then you see his shadow and your little fucking Hi. little Johnson flings up when you see his shadow. Watch, just look. Oh, you see his shadow. <laughs> and then you start unloading rounds into the wall. Now what I'm gonna do, and Brooke doesn't do this because like I said, this is Platt. Rook doesn't do this because he's a little plat can. What I'm doing, when I see that stream of ammunition, that stream of bullets, I'm swinging and I'm pre-firing exactly where your head is. Because when people can see that line of bullets, they know exactly where your weapon is, meaning they know exactly where your head is. So if I ever see you do a lackluster pre-fire like this again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a Darth Vader choke, okay? You empty your clip, so now you have no ammo. Now Rook can swing into sight completely free. Your teammate's hand is on his Johnson. He doesn't even know what year Watch it is. Watch Brad 9,489, it's too good. So yeah, Rook's terrible. I